Johnny101 again. Welcome to another video. So for this video, this is my second book review. I did my first book review like last year and I promised my viewers that I would continue to post more book reviews. But end up I gave up on this habit quite quickly. And for this year, I just don't want it to be a lie anymore. I want to make it come true. And so I set up this New Year's resolution where I must finish reading at least one book each month. So by the end of this year, I will be reading 12 books. And for today, I am going to introduce my favorite book that I've read during January, which is this book. Focus, focus, focus. Yes, this book by Sophie Collin. I'm so sorry if I mispronounce your name. Uh, but yeah, she, uh, and the book title is True Stories. Yes. Um, she's a French artist. So yes, not only that she's a writer, she's also an artist as well. This is also the reason why it attracts me to buy this. Um, I am trying to read more books that are not from the mainstream. I, I don't want to read a lot of books that a lot of people talk about. So since general, I've been looking for books like these, for example, books that are written by uh, artists, books that can only be found in very small bookshops in Hong Kong instead of mainstreamed or changed bookstore, um, and also books from self-publishing authors, because me myself as a self-published author of an urban fantasy novel, and I do think that we deserve a lot more attention as well than what we are really receiving now because we can create good stories. I have recently bought two other self-publishing authors' works that I am currently reading and I do enjoy their work very much as much as I enjoy the mainstream books. And I do want to make this channel into like only reviewing um, books from very small parties instead of from big uh, publishing companies. Yeah. Because so back to this book, uh, what I really love this book is first it's very light okay um, it fits in my small bag and it's a paper bag okay and it's not really that thick and the best thing about this is that for each page it has a story and for each story it's very very short you can see there are paragraphs like this short of course there are longer paragraphs as in like this one or in three parts but if you look at it as a second language speaker or someone who needs a lot of motivation to read when you see this it's easier for us to complete one page and feel satisfied so we can be more motivated to complete it. Um, this is the first book, first book that I'm able to complete it in just one, I think three hours. Um, my reading speed um, isn't really that fast because I cannot concentrate onto the content if the passage is too long or it's not interesting enough. But this not only captures my attention with its short passages, but also with its content. I would say this is somehow a biography, since it's about true stories, a biography of the author slash artist, um, because I feel like the things written on it, it's it's real. It's like a diary style, and and I don't normally read books like this, because when I read books about true, real-life stories, I just ultimately think that they are like... Um, boring, normal, not really that exciting, not as exciting as fantasy novel. But this is the first, you know, book that made me so excited that I have to complete it. And I would go back to this book over and over again to read it over and over again because her life matches with my motto, which is to stop existing, start living, and be alive. She is truly alive in this book. Like her life that I've read is just amazing. It's so exciting. And I think one of the lessons I've learned from her life is that there are in fact sad moments as well. There aren't just like happy all the time. There are definitely a lot of sad moments, but she makes these sad moments beautiful. Sad, but beautiful sometimes. And and it doesn't make you feel it's like very heavy when you read about heavy subjects. There are definitely heavy subjects in it, but it doesn't burden you. It doesn't make you depressed, but just makes you all oh, in a way that, yes, it's sad, but you made it sound so poetic, so beautiful. And even though you feel sadness in it, but at the same time, you just somehow relief at the end of that sentence because of the words she's written. Um, other than that, I would say she is a very, very bold person. She's tried so much stuff that I have never tried in my life, that I would never try in my life. And she's so bold. It just feels like even when someone's like physically hurting her or mentally hurting her, she can be strong uh, and, and bold. She's just a confident woman. And um, from this, I've read about her um, artworks and how she performs art. It's very interesting. Her arts are related to the interaction with a bed and 
And there are, in fact, subjects that I would say in Asian culture it's like forbidden to say、um, or to read about in some way for more conservative people. I remember, in fact, there are. If you look at the pages, each of the page has a photograph on this side, and there's a small paragraph in here. So most of the pages are like this. So.、Um, Since this is YouTube, I, and I can't show you the pictures, but there are definitely pictures that involves nudity and sexuality. And I remember I was on the MTR reading this book, and I was turning to this one page that talks about stripping. And there's this picture、uh, where the girl was naked, and to me, it's quite normal because in Artsy things and stuff you see that all the time. It's not really that awkward or surprising for me. But when you read it in public, and especially I remember there this middle-aged man that was next to me, and he was staring at my page at one of the pages for a long time and was like gaping, somehow shocked because I was like reading this, and for him was like he was like doing this all the time. And I was like, at some point, I just couldn't stand his gaze, so I was like, I have to quickly read this page and then turn to the other. It's not that because I feel weird for reading this; it just makes me feel so awkward when a guy next to me was keep on staring at what you're reading, and it's kind of invading my privacy. That kind of feel so it made me feel uncomfortable because he was staring because he think it was like a huge deal, but for me it wasn't. But there is definitely a lot of not a lot, but a few pages that involve this, and for me it was a very interesting story. A lot of them are very interesting. Um, for me, how it inspired my writing is that、um, the style of writing, as I've said, she would take photos of her daily life materials or daily scene, and then write a short paragraph next to it. And it kind of affected me. I I would like to do this, and I tried writing a similar piece of writing for a blog post that、I、posted on a a a blog that I am co-writing with my friends. It's called Creative Hopeless Collective. I wrote this about um. A statue that I've seen. It's kind of inspired by her. And normally, I would write long, really long passages. As you can see, I've written a home novel with five hundred pages, more than five hundred pages. I'm not someone who can write short. But after seeing that, I start to write really, really short paragraphs like hers, and then start to write about the things in my daily life, how it links.、Uh, for me, it's mostly my imagination. So I've written a, a piece for for the Imagine Corner. You can check it out down below. I will put the link down below. I've done that and tried to write short paragraphs. I'll try to write about things in my daily life, and hopefully one day I could make a book like this、um, for those who don't like a lot of words. And you're looking for this very interesting life. I'm, I sh- I'm sure I-, I can show you. This is really interesting. I'm not going to spoil a lot because I'm sure you guys will love it.、Um, I think each of her experience just make your mind will blow up because it does. It makes my mind blow, and I need to read on. And on just to see what happened. And though there are some nudity or sex,、um, subjects that relate to sex, but I do think it's she portrays it in a very interesting way, and there's a meaningful way as well because there's a meaning behind these. And and I just love these. I just love this book so much, even though it's about real stories because she has an abnormal but exciting and meaningful life in some way. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Hope you like it. I will continue to do more and talk about how each book inspired my writing, and and we'll definitely do book reviews concerning、um, self publishing authors and books from、uh, non mainstream bookstores, and that's the direction that I'll be heading this year. So yeah, stay tuned for more book review videos.